Okay, we've got enough ladder game here. Uh, it's my Renegades versus Jimmy Dreambeards, Jimmy Creambeards, and it looks to be Elven Union. <coughs> And we have a perfect condition, and we would like to hit Elves first. So he's got one bench, three rerolls, no Apo. All four catchers, one block, one wrestle, two dodge, dodge, and dodge on the thrower. No sidestep for the one turn. Okay, so basically we need to break elves to win this game, otherwise they are just better at everything except punching. Especially his blood steppers are going to be a nuisance, like we don't have tackle. We do have a wrestle on the raft, but that's it. Brigade. Okay, so we need you there, so he can 3D. We get to move all six players. We have a block on this ogre, right? I think you want to stay there. Okay, that's a pretty decent start. He's dead. That's a bit lucky, I'd say. Oh! <laughs> 
Nice, armor break. And we get three dice with the troll. Okay, amazing start. This is the only way you can defeat elves with renegades. And we have to do that, but we're staying against L. Pass opportunity there. I wouldn't care, but the coach might. Oh, I think that's pretty good. It's an amazing start for Renegades here. I wouldn't really hope for anything like removing two, even if it's just Linos, it's like just two elves down and then he only has one bench. <coughs> and it's just turn one. He can still go completely sideways because elves are still elves and if he's if played correctly they don't need to be more than nine players, right? Especially if, when my guys start rolling ones on their activations. Great. Probably hitting the one we were hoping for here, the one we left open, and the one that doesn't have block, right? And only a push, not lucky for us. Oh, he lets us keep in contact with the sidestepper. Not big odds, but you never know. Oh, he's going in, putting pressure on us. I mean, we already wasted a reroll, so why not? If we could get this guy down and foul him to pieces, that would have been amazing, right? It's, it's only a block, doesn't have blood, right? But he doesn't have sidestep, so we could try to trap him. Amazing. Didn't die, guys, as always. I guess we do this, right? We have block if he sidesteps the one. That's fine. We can go where we want. We'll stay put. I guess we hit here now. This is going to be decisive. You can go wherever you want, doesn't matter. These two spaces and you're still pretty tied in there. You can try to go here, right? To try to wriggle way through. No armor breaks this turn, unfortunately. Uh, he didn't even power my guy he hit, so let's not complain. Yeah, 
Here we go. That was my orc. And then he gets 2D with the um, blitzer here as well. And we're hold. Oh, good thing that was the orc. Everyone else would have been, well, except the ogre and troll, would have been broken armor. Only a push, that's really nice. Gonna go 2D my line over here. And it doesn't work. to do is hit this guy but from there so we can get him on the minotaur if we just a push but there is no sure thing in <laughs> a prone player is a dead player oftentimes at any rate nope and, and uh, he's standing there drooling Choice for this play. Hey, that play looked almost competent. Hmm. Feels like he will absolutely go for the ball here next turn. No, let's just try to push this guy away. Good enough. can bring Moo in here. There we go. That's the good thing about the Mino at least. It doesn't lose its tackle zone. Still there to protect, unlike the stupid ogre who rolled a one, and then we had to waste another reroll on the dodge. He can hit stuff, but he can't get easy access to the ball unless he uphills the ball, right? Well, maybe he's gonna get everything on the troll, then he can. Yeah, he is. Okay, yeah, because he's gonna dodge this guy over there. Then he can do it. Then it comes to day for him, and then we'll see what happens. Well, so now he, now he can dodge in and hit me. 
but if he hits here, we still have guard, so he has to be there. And then this guy here. So I think it's tricky to get... To make it not uphill. That's what we're hoping. Yeah. Let's see if he re rolls on uphill. He does. He has to push. That's unfortunate, but. Uh, the one they worked on the rat, unfortunately. And that's an armor break. Rat has the weak armor, so that's to be expected. Well, we might get a lot of hits here at least, that's nice. on the field during my career well i could start my own team you only need a million gold right boo didn't work Nice, at least we pushed him away. <laughs> that player is as slippery as a meal, but not quite as cuddly. <sighs> Crying out loud, last reroll, and we can't power him. Um. Just unfortunately. Well, all our big guys are active. We have no rerolls, unfortunately, because we rolled crap. Which is sad. <laughs> but we managed to push his sidesteppers away. And now I'm we just have to, to hope we have match. average block dice. That should be enough, right? But you never know. You never know. That's the beauty and horror.
Oh, it fans the dodge. He needs to reroll here if he wants to keep going. Yep, he's down to one at least. So now he needs to tag the orc to make this a 2D. And then this guy can maybe do oh, he popped dodge, but it's still good enough. Now I can hit him. And then this guy can dodge. Only a push, which makes that tricky. Oh, nice. Don't think he rerolls this, but yeah. First time we got one of those guys down. Now it's three. Is the assist gonna be enough to come out on top? But it doesn't help. We can't get. Move up here. Are they dancing or fighting? That'll help the player move without risk. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six. Get up! Get up! Gaven is not free. So how far can we get? We can get it here. Break. Okay, that's probably best we could even hope for here. Trying to surround these guys so they can't dodge away easily, right? So get, like, hopefully we can keep hitting them. But we need to remove more elves for this to be good enough. Well, he's not afraid to roll the two pluses. He's got guys here lagging us to move and have dodge, <laughs> but sure. Why not? Can't argue with that call, can Only pushes on the orc. No. So 
for this guy. Doesn't have an easy dodge, everything is a 3 plus or worse. Okay, which didn't save from there. So Can't even roll a power with three dice. Is the assist gonna be there we go, but this top. isn't with my flow. Well, of course, we, we don't have mighty blow, we remove them anyway. That's just stupid lucky. Very efficient round here, two removals. The and then we can hit this guy as well. Uh, we'll stay there, I think. Okay, so we removed two elves this turn, which is as many as we've removed previously the entire drive. Uh, yeah, so that's a big deal. Because two of them are um, catchers, right? They're fast mm -hmm. guys. And the other two are down here. This guy has tricky dodges. Well, everything has tricky dodges except him. But still, we're out of rerolls. Here's the blitz, maybe, because he's targeting my elf. Do you miss the old days? I'm gonna go for the, the five plus dungeon, right? Three, four, five. Yep. And he fails because he had the prop dodge over there. He didn't fail this there. And that means this square is uh, cut through. There's only one word to say about this one. Oh, he picks, of course, still. He just made sure he couldn't. Okay, I'm break. There was 
So now we just have to count two, three, four, five, six, seven. So both of those guys' armor are broken, so it's these guys we need to think about. Of course, the bigger they tend to be, obviously. Well, he can blitz my ogre, I guess, if he wants. choice here. He's down four guys, so he's down three because he has a bench, so he's down three elves. can with two rushes, okay. Don't know if it's worth it. So let's do the fun, let's try a vomit and hope we don't kill ourselves, right? Case movement 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. That's 5 pushes. Uh, he has one reel. I think I will just backline. And we will put the big guys on here in just in case of the uh, officious ref thingy. Put the um, this. That's always the risk of the timeout or the officious ref. giving the goblin and the spare player some extra time, or not like some playing time, so they have something to tell their moms about afterwards.
do we? Why are we guys? No. We won't do anything, we just screw it up. So let me just see if we can remove any of our guys here. One more holes on the first guy. Two for two on the pounds. Armor holds on that guy as well. Wrestle guy hits. Three, four, five, six. One more. You can make it three dice. And get to the first one anyway. Armor holds. The question is, do you foul or not? Like this, well. You got the ball. Okay, no foul. That's the goblin. Goes off. And the lineman goes off. Let's see if he wants to score a quick score. We can hopefully catch him. At least do some hits, force him to score fast, right? So we can counter score and win 2-1. That's the dream. So what we're doing here is like we're giving him hits here if he wants them. But that means he's got, he get, keeps those elves stuck on the line and not helping if he tries to push down a side <laughs> and then hopefully we can position our guys here are they actually help if there's a blitz here we can surf if we don't roll a one on the second one oh he's not he realized that we have frenzy or remembered i think he realized that from the start of the game Oh, he gets a mighty blow. That's unfortunate. That can be a real changer because that means his blitzers can start removing my guys. Darn. Put block dudes there. They instant armor break. Didn't die though. So actually, uh, the mighty bird didn't do anything there. So would have happened anyway. Mm. Okay, that's nice. You can stand up and give the troll a friend immediately. <coughs> Space and not give him 
any chance to get easy 2Ds, which is impossible with the Delta because you just dodge away from one stair place and make it 2D on the other. When basically you have three string three pieces, except the big guys who we don't know if they want to play or not. So to do this, you stand up. Put the orc there. Him there. And then we want the ogre there. We want you there. Wow, my big guys are really on fire in this game. So this side is well contained, this side not so much. But it needs to dodge and everywhere is tricky dodging or dodging to make, like making anything 2D is tricky here. You need someone here, right? And then you can hit this guy. A great game so far. And then this guy and that takes this guy plus two. And two of them will be stuck here, and the third one blitzed there. Yeah, that's a smart one. You can lock your way out. Ooh. That's a good choice for this Gets the orc. I don't see why you didn't block with mighty blow there. You could have done that as easily. Wouldn't have mattered. That's annoying. Absolutely not. That's to be expected. Okay. Wow, we got a pal. Let's see if Mighty Blow breaks the uh, Blitzer's better armor.
keep these. I'm gonna keep these here in case he breaks three or three, right? Maybe put one here. We'll put the elf around. Pressure's on, Jim. What will they do? Like he's best positioned to go this way, right? So we have the ogre and these two here. But if we don't put this guy here, he can just dodge out here and punch both of these guys, right? Blitz one and then get two dice on the other. Like one guy goes there, the other one moves and blitzes. Or this guy even, because he's just prone, right? Yeah. One, two, three, four, yeah. And having him here like also means we can like he needs to protect from us coming from behind as well. <laughs> hey Jim, <laughs> how many halflings does it take to change a candle and a lantern? Well, they're very short, so maybe quite a few. My experience it takes six one to change a candle, and five for me to eat. <laughs> Yeah, today. he's blitzing over on this side, where we are expecting it to do. We get lucky. Oh, he rerolls it, gets the pile. Yep. And this is Mighty Blow, but he's hitting our hardest target. Hopefully, Armor Holy, yes. And it didn't matter, because the Orc or the Mighty Blow. So it couldn't have been good enough on any of the guys. He's coming down here, which was kind of what we expected would happen. But this should be fine, right? We should be able to uh, contain this. He is now in scoring range, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, he's in one away. Okay, so he can't score. Um, oh, he rolls both of them. Okay. And if I'm okay, because if he get if he does this, he can hand off and score. Okay. So that makes sense. Oh, did this work? But he isn't. Wow. Okay, that's a nice dodge, stopping us from our running back shenanigans.
I'm not sure we didn't plow this guy. That would have been much better. I hope he knows what he's doing. But he needs to roll some dice to get out of this for sure. Like he can he can serve my Minotaur with some uphills and stuff, but he only has one river left. We would have really liked to power the first one here, so the Minotaur was there, but we can't get everything. Cabal Vision HD comes with a range of new features. Please see your instruction guide for further details. Don't be stupid, Jim. Nobody ever reads the instructions. Yeah, I don't really see what he can do that isn't just uphill, except maybe like hit here, which doesn't accomplish anything. You got anything cool reported on your Wiz Wool box other than old blood gold mattress jump? Yes. Okay, here's the one. Yep, works. Unfortunately. Then he can hit from there. Surf me. With risk we took, and this also means he might be stuck here, so even if it cost us our Minotaur, we might be able to be okay here. It's still uphill, right? So this is the wrestle pace, that's fine. So that means we let them wrestle this down. So now he can run back and easily dodge away, right? So he got out of the situation, I think. Yep. But he's not getting closer to our end zone and he still has stuff bracketed here, so. That's where it works. On our armor 10 plus piece, that's the removal. Well done. Good noise echoing that. And now we have one left. Numerical sword, and he makes a people's sword. Oh my god, he makes them all. That's kind of sad. Pale slash one at least, and he's not going to reroll this, right? Oh, he did! Okay, to close the cage. But he would have left the dice on the ball otherwise. Yeah, let's put him there. The players surround you. Any advice? Violence, Jim. It's the only answer. One, two, three, four. So we have to hit with this guy. So if you want to hit him next to the troll. Well, that works, I guess. Slip 
body like an eel. Why not just squash him next time? Captain Moo doesn't want to play. Sad we couldn't get the cow out, but we didn't want to risk blitzing with him, right? When we had a chance to hit the corner here and get stuff here, so just forcing him to roll dice. He has no rerolls, right? So he's just gonna fully try to dodge away and just not get any closer. But again, we never know, they are elves. guys to do this and they, and they are stuck and he's running out of people to protect the ball with. Got any advice for the buddy you pooch them? Yeah. Ah crap, you guess the one he means. We have dodge but not close. Yeah. Oh. yeah, okay now we're losing players. I sure uh, there's no point saving him is it? Maybe there is. Yeah we might as well try in case we get to uh no he died. Oh well Yeah, with these two removals, this is not now not going to be easy. Before it really was a bit, but not now. He's so much faster than we are, we can't just screen him off because he's just he's going to elf through if he needs to. But he is out of rerolls, at least that's something. Now we're only up two players, I believe. Which is like where the elves, not that much. Touchdowns are coming. The studio wizard has promised me at least one more before the final. What's that? Hey, a bit of interest. He's now going to elf screen everything off, and we just have to um, not overcommit. Mm, that's very nice. Mm, that's very nice. He makes the door. Okay, perfect. Uh, something he didn't die though, so he died. So we can call him. Still doesn't want to move, that's annoying. Okay, so I guess we'll do this then. And we can't get him. Not powering him there was kind of sad. Not getting the cow up for two turns, which is average. 75% chance to get him up on two turns, right? Yeah. 
incendiary fire. You just can't trust Sorcerer. Hmm. Yeah, this is gonna be tricky. I think we've just too few guys to catch him now when he's so fast and went. Like if we can bash our guys free maybe. But it'll be tricky. I think this is looking like a draw now. Unfortunately. Let's see, he's still not one, two, three, four, five, six. So he's in range with rushes now. Yeah. Anybody got me playing cards? Hey, Doesn't get us? That's nice. Oh, oh he did, it was the other way here. Okay, never mind. Yeah, this is gonna be tricky now. Troll decides not to play, bastard. Well, hey, Captain Moo goes up. He won't be able to do anything anyway. So it matters little. Unfortunately. Okay, I think that's the best we can do here. And they start the turn in trouble. Like this is the one we wanted to be the armor break, right? And again, no rerolls, so just trying to score isn't super easy, okay? Well, he hits with this guy, who's got the, um, the closest to the action, but I guess he wants to try to get the armor break here instead. Got it anyway there, right? So. Oh, he failed the door, so okay. Well. wants to play.
No, the cow still wants to play. Ah, good. He's got the ball. It's always in the house. I guess we leave them. This last turn, right? He does have uh, nerves of steel, right? But like, there's a risk that we fail if we do that. So you can't argue with that only a push. He's not getting the ball. We're safe. Even. If I had a gold club for every player I've seen lying on the field during my career, well, I could start my own team. You only need a million gold. Oh, it's over. What's wrong, Bob? Let's hope that it happens soon then. Did you give me something so that the uh, like that's we can like you don't need many elves if you can outrun your opponent and his renegades are uh, not fast. And then this screen will probably take forever. Oh, we. Okay. Nice. It doesn't matter. And we had some amazing armor breaks. So, let's see how we're at in the. Um, teams. So, two wins and one draw. That's pretty nice. Oh, we're ranked three. That's with Renegade, that's kind of nice. Monitor is in the lead with Dark Elves. Doesn't really matter, because you just play for fun here. If it's nice to see how well you can deal with interesting teams like the Renegades. And that's it for today. Um, so thanks a lot for watching. If you're watching this after on YouTube, please leave a like and subscribe and come watch me on Twitch where we play Blood Bowl Live. Uh, see you next time.